Hey guys, welcome back. Chelsea here from Chelsea Paints. So I wanted to show you guys how I varnish my pendulum paintings. A lot of you guys have been asking, so I thought I'd show you. Right now, I am putting li a line down the side of my canvas. It is not with Elmer School Glue. It is a polyurethane, or it's a water-based polyurethane varnish that I picked up from Home Depot. It's about $50 for a gallon of it, but it is so worth it. I love this varnish. It works just as good as uh, Liquitex high gloss varnish. And you can get it at a much cheaper price than Liquitex. All right, so once I got my line down, I started spreading out the varnish ensuring that I cover all the corners, all of the edges, and then I slowly start to bring it to the center of my canvas, just working its way down there. And then I start going from left to right, starting at the bottom, and then working my way up to the top. So I'm just gently stroking the varnish back and forth, ensuring that I don't leave any thick, bold lines, and that I get a nice, smooth surface. I do like a thick, heavy coat on my pendulums. I love the way the shine looks on them. So I don't spread it too thin, but I also don't let it puddle up in places. It looks almost cloudy whenever I'm done with it. This pendulum painting is 24 by 36, so it's pretty big. This is the pendulum painting that I did with Mixed Media Girl back in July. So as you can see, I am touching up the edges now. I've already got the top covered, so I'm just going around, swiping it down the sides, catching all those little drips and just touching up my corners really well. Once again, I just want to be sure that all the canvas is perfectly covered. All right, so once I'm sure that all my edges are covered, I go ahead and torch, popping any little air bubbles that may be trapped underneath the varnish. All right, so this is what it'll look like after the first coat. Now, if you can see, it does look a bit cloudy on top and I like that because once it dries that's that's how shiny it will be <laughs> I put a healthy layer of varnish on my canvases I really like the finish you can see the corner here it's all covered and I made sure that none of my my bottom edges had drips on them Kind of did the sweep around with the foam brush. Make sure I got all the drips. So I will let this chill here, dry. A couple hours, I'll come check on it. And if it's all dry, I will go ahead and put another coat. So stay tuned. I'll show you that here in a bit.
All right, so here we are a couple hours later. I made sure that my canvas had no wet spots left before I went ahead and poured some more polyurethane on here. So as you can see, I am going to go across the top now. I kind of just puddle it on there and then I sweep the top. Be sure I kind of spread the polyurethane varnish around a little bit. I don't want to miss any spots, so I kind of sweep that around. Dabbing it kind of, kind of picking it up and putting it down. I had to go around to the other side of the table, touch it up there. And then I start from the top and then I work my way down. It's dripping off the sides again, which is perfectly fine. And as you can see on the second layer, I'm taking it from top to bottom instead of going left to right. So I'm just kind of gently taking my brush, setting it down, and then pulling across, not pressing down too hard. Now I do have another healthy layer of polyurethane on here. As you can see, my, my brush is soaking it all up and kind of dripping about. Just smoothing it all out. I ended up going back over here and dribbling a little bit more varnish on that one blue spot. It looked like it was starting to dry up where I didn't put enough in some spots, so I had to go back and do some patchwork. <laughs> that happens. However, you don't want to wait too long before you go back and try to touch it up because it will start setting up. All right, so once I'm sure that I have a nice even coat on the top, I'll go around and start working on all my edges, collecting on those drips and smearing it all across the side. If I notice that there's not enough varnish in some places, instead of getting more varnish, I kind of push my brush down very gently and squeeze out some of that varnish that's stuck inside the brush and then I touch it up. Also, double checking underneath the canvas for any drips. For touching up the drips, I normally turn the brush sideways and run it against the bottom flat. All right. And once I'm sure that all my canvas is covered, I'll go ahead and do a quick torching again, just to pop any air bubbles. Most of the time there isn't air bubbles, but just in case. And we are done with the second layer. It has that cloudy look, which is perfect. It's not too thin, but not too thick. And yeah, I love it. This is gonna look beautiful once it's all finished. Here I am just checking the corners again, making sure there's absolutely no drips underneath. It's looking good. Hang out with me for just a little bit longer and you can see it dry and hanging on the wall. All right, here we go, guys. Varnish is all dried up. Let me see if I can get you guys a nice view of that shine right there. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
You can still see the detail from the pendulum lines, but also see the gloss. This is my favorite all-time varnish. Let me know what you guys use. Let me know if you use this varnish. I absolutely love it. It's such a nice protectant layer of coating. It's not too shiny like resin, and it's definitely not dull. Look at that shine. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video of me varnishing this pendulum. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.